Perrysburg and Springfield meeting with a berth in the regionals on the line. Yellow Jackets came from behind in the regular season victory. Top the first Blue Devils runner on second. Two down Cam Eckhart. Base hit into left. Ava Litton trying to score. Throws off the mark. Springfield with the lead. In the third, Yellow Jackets with new life after an obstruction call. Senior Mason Gerard takes advantage, driving in Haley Griggs and Yusina Yu. Jackets score four runs with two outs. Next inning, adding to that lead, Ali Suberling. She's been swinging a mean stick of late. Deep drive to left center, that's gone. Perrysburg with an 8-2 lead, but Springfield not rolling over. Down four in the fifth, Olivia Rumpf changes all that, knocking it out of the park. Springfield comes all the way back, tying the game at eight. We're going to extra innings. Bottom of the eighth, Jessica Miller leading off for the Yellow Jackets. Miller ending it for the Yellow Jackets. The walk-off homer to win the district title. Perrysburg, the dramatic win as the future Tiffin Dragon slays the Blue Devils. My mindset up there was just to hit line drives, be the best I can be. You know, if I get a walk, I get a walk. I wanted to be that game winning run. I believed in our team. I believed in our defense, our pitching. Maddie coming late, coming in late in the game. I believed in her. Our offense might have hit a slump, but you know what? We weren't waiting on the ball, and next thing you knew, we were waiting on that ball. So I'm glad that that worked out. And we're glad it worked out for Greg Frankie and Dwayne Lanham. One of the more dramatic games that you'll see in a district final or any game as Perrysburg wins it in extra innings on a walk-off home run by senior Jessica Miller after they'd seen a pretty good lead dissipate and then they fought and got it back in extra innings. Yes, they did. And it's kind of your typical rivalry, Perrysburg versus Springfield game. You really never know who's going to win it to the very end. Well, it's interesting the way it worked out. Perrysburg got some breaks early. And they parlayed that into a good lead. They led 5-1 at one point, then 8-2. to two. But you just knew in the back of your mind that this Springfield team had set a record with 50 home runs. Sooner or later, they were going to start to put some across. And then things balance out. A break went uh, Springfield's way. And then all of a sudden, you just didn't know what was going to happen. No, and then it's all about who is going to get that timely hit or that quality at bat. And you know, when they were able to hold Springfield in the top of the eighth, you, you kind of had a feeling Perrysburg was going to take charge after that. Yeah, both teams had some near misses. They had some rallies that didn't quite pan out. But Jessica Miller, who's had an outstanding year all season, a senior who's been in a lot of these situations, never quite like this with a walk-off home run, but she certainly showed all of her experience there with the mindset at the plate. Yeah, I think for on behalf of all the seniors, they weren't ready to say it's it's time to end the season. So, again, they're out there battling. Now they go on to regionals, looking forward to possibly playing Anthony Wayne in the regional finals. Yeah, Perrysburg and Anthony Wayne recently went right down to the wire, even though in the end it was a 15-5 score. And they'll probably do it again if they should meet going forward in regional play. But a dramatic district final victory for Perrysburg over Springfield here today at Clyde.